Hey, it's Amy. I know Nina here today. I'm just going to be talking a little bit about some rules of potty training. And I look at potty training in two phases. The first phase is when the dog or puppy doesn't know how to tell you that they have to go outside. So what you have to do is anticipate their needs. So that means they have to go outside all the time. And it's a lot of back and forth, but it's really worth it. What you're trying to do is catch them when they have to go so you can start to name the behavior and get them to associate the right substrate to go potty on. In our case, it's grass. So um, with a puppy, they're gonna have to go potty right after they wake up, um, right after they've gotten up from a nap, in the middle of play, right after drinking oftentimes, usually 10 to 20 minutes after eating, um, basically all the time. If they're up and about, they're gonna have to go more often. If they're sleeping overnight, they might be able to hold it longer. Well, how long can a puppy hold it? They're supposed to be able to hold it for one hour per month that they are plus one. So if you have a two month old puppy, then they should be able to hold it for three hours. But that's really the overnight expectation. If they are moving about and playing, they're not gonna be able to hold it that long. So I recommend giving them an opportunity to go if they haven't gone roughly every 20 minutes. But watch out for any behaviors that indicate that they wanna go outside. And so in order to get that, you have to set up a sequence of events that occurs on a very regular basis. What I recommend is always take the puppy out the same door every time, always take them out on the leash, always take them to the same spot in the yard, and always have treats with you so that you can praise them outside. We don't want to come in the house and give them treats because that makes them think that they want to run back to the house all the time and not finish their business. When they go outside, you can then start to name it. You can call it go potty. You can actually name like go pee, go poop, whatever you want to do, go to the bathroom. Lots of people call it different things, but be consistent in the household. If you set up the sequence of events and you're always doing that every time, go out the same door, go to the same spot in the yard, be on a leash, then what will happen is the dog will start to look at the door a little bit or give you some kind of behavior that indicates that they're getting a little antsy. Um, and then you can tee off of that and now you're in phase two. Phase two is tell me that you have to go. Now we expect they can hold it a little bit. They have some morning that they've got to go potty and they're gonna cry or do some kind of vocalization. And this is when you can put a bell on the door um, or just stand by the door because they're looking at the door and say, do you wanna go out? Do you wanna go outside? Do you have to go potty? And if they give you some kind of a peep or some kind of a sign, then that's the signal that you're gonna use. Whatever your dog gives you, if they come and nudge you on the leg or they just kind of look at you wantingly, you know, um, you'll clue in to the fact that they need something and build on that behavior so that it's more demonstrative as they get older and as they can hold it longer. Those are the potty training rules.